Welcome or back. My name is Miss Granite Tenager, and we are playing some Mass Effect Andromeda. So, we only have no more Helios assignments left. We have some tasks, but I'm not going to worry about those. Um, and we have all these guys. We can't do this one yet. Uh, we need to go to Padromos to go see Jill and Gil. We need to talk to Drac in the Tempest Med Bay, talk to Cora on the Tempest, and... The reason we're on Havarl, we need to accompany Jal to Havarl to meet his family. We also, you know, this this one, but we'll do that one after the other ones. So, oh dear, it's been like a week since I played this game. Oh good, I can remember how to play it, kind of. By that I mean I just do this everywhere because it's faster than running. And I'm lazy. So we're going to go meet my boyfriend's family. Which I'm sure is going to turn out wonderfully. Can I go in this way? I want to go through the window. Now let me go through the window! Fine. My teammates probably think I am kind of crazy. I mean, I would think I was crazy if I saw them just trying to jump in the window. Right. What? Thanks for saving us. Cool story, bro. We owe you. Oh, I have to go up there. <laughs> Wrong way. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, we're going to go fly to see them. I see, I see, I see, and this is really loud. Actually, enough not. It's just I don't wear headphones a lot when I'm not recording. John, John. <gasps> it's the family. Sadly not. Is that bad news? Uh, no, the Pathfinder no. is interested in where I grew up. Immediately, it seems it's bad news. Ryder, this is my true mother, Sahuna Amadarao. Give her a hug. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I know Angara liked the hugging. <laughs> Giles told me how much he admired It's my mother-in-law! <laughs> He's my favorite. Smart, loyal, kind. Rude? A great shot. Writes poetry, souls. <laughs> mother. <laughs> <laughs> I'm late for a resistance meeting. Stay clear. His mom is Your the mother's best. in the resistance? <laughs> yes. And... Every if the child, child is, is her favorite. <laughs> Everyone, this is right. Let me guess, there's like 50 people. Yep. Look the car can drag you. Welcome back. This is Aww. where I spent most of my days growing up. Me, my sister, Guana, our cousin, Etta, and brother, Finn. Then, Babe Zill, Rolu, So wonderful to Eja, have you back. So many people. <laughs> You bring in someone special to meet us. I am wow. his girlfriend. Cozy. I am definitely his girlfriend. Live like this. Gonna give your friends some real food. Good to see you. <laughs> Just ignoring and everyone. My, my tiny sanctuary. This is crazy. You must dream of a big place of your own. Sometimes, <laughs> maybe. Doesn't matter. This will always be my home. It's still chaos. We can make a home together. Best home. Put this Lots here. of kisses and families and children. We'll adopt them, obviously. It's a bomb! Schematics? Of... Uh... When I was seven, my aunt stole a cat weapon for me. So I took it apart. To learn. And that is... How did that even happen? A carkin. Pet carkin. <laughs> All fit. He died. So I also took him apart. You dissected your pets? Learn? Why not? You dissected your pet. <laughs> I told people these things. No. Make my heart sing. <clears throat> I want us to be together. That was a bad time to take a drink of liquid. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. I'd like that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Laughter all around. Did my character's chest get larger, or is she? Oh, she's leaning back. I was like, wait a minute. Um, nom 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 nom. Well, at least the people in Andromeda know what kissing is. Ah, let me show you one more thing you might like. What? Lie down. What? Okay, sure. Are we having sexy times now? Is that what's happening? Oh, it's a star map. Beautiful. It's pretty. You made that? Long ago. 
It's not accurate. More of a dream, really. Just Still pretty. one more thing I want to take apart and figure out. Okay, I've been watching way too many alien films and Alien Covenant lately, so hearing I want to take it apart and figure it out. To do it with. When I hear take it apart and figure it out, it's like, please don't turn My into David. To love you. Please don't turn into I'm David and take me apart. Sorry. <laughs> but yes, I've, I've been watching way too much Covenants and the original Alien films and Prometheus lately. And every time I'm like, I like, I hear something like, I want to take it apart. I just, I just. You can't unsee some of the gore in those movies, friends. All right, Jack, time for you to get your checkup from Levy. Lev, 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 Levy. The doctor! Yes, the doctor. Her name's Lovey, right? Lexi! Lexi, not Lovey. Lexi. It's been a while. Your prosthetics are sinking properly. Your neuropathy induced pain levels are consistent. Neuropathy induced pain levels? What? Hey, I'm used to it. It's okay. He's getting old! No, it's not okay. You keep fighting smart, you hear me? I ship it. You don't have much left in terms of organ redundancies. <clears throat> nah, it's fine. I don't mind. It's okay, right? Everything okay? This looks like a lot. He's dying. He's over a it thousand a lot. Years old. Just nothing he didn't already know about. What do you mean? He's, he's, not, fine, he's old. Just old and missing too many parts. And too stubborn for his own good. Oh, Lexi. <laughs> you love me just the way I am, Doc. I ship it. I ship it so hard. Hmm. Don't get off that table until the scan is done. Can I ask what happened? He got old. Arm, Didn't you hear side, her? Hip, part of my leg. Strain balancing threading across my spine. It's she just told him not to get off the table. <laughs> That's a lot. He's also all the stuff. Made it through the Krogan rebellions, watched my culture disintegrate, survived centuries as a merc, and all sorts of pirate shenanigans. Shenanigans? I love shenanigans. A thousand years of combat experience. All it took was one idiot with a pack of frag grenades. Ow! It must have been hard. Frag grenades. Yeah, it got pretty bad. I hit some dark moments. Implant rejection after implant rejection. Prosthetics not sinking properly. Does he have a false leg? Is that what he said? Everything hurt a lot, all the time. No purpose to anything. So you came to Andromeda. How did you deal with it? I didn't. I fell right into that pit. Almost. But then some shaman shows up, drops the tiniest little baby girl in my lap. Oh, it's Cash. It's your grand it's your granddaughter. This one's dying, he said. Not worth the trouble, he says. Useless is what he meant. That's not very nice. That's awful. It's practical. Krogan gave me a purpose again. Wasn't then... just about me anymore, so I got help. Oh. Learned how to take care of I like myself, Jack. take care of her, and she took care of me. And it was Kesh. He found a way to live again. We sure did. Wasn't easy on either of us. I'm old, stuck in my ways, and Cash. Cash has wanted to change everything since she could talk. Cause Cash is a badass. I think <coughs> Cash taught me an important lesson. Sharing is caring. <laughs> and you're going to tell me all about it, aren't you? Damn right I am. <laughs> Parents aren't meant to be a goal. Or a finish line. We're the starting line. Where you go from there, it's all you. Remember no. that. But I'm not a parent. 
yet. <laughs> That's some nice, like, human hybrid with freaking Angarn babies. <laughs> Best babies. Okay, now we have to find Korra. Is that Korra? Yeah, it's Korra. Okay, we gotta find Korra and Vetra. I think are the two on the campus they still need to talk to. Hi, Vetra! Got a minute? Or, yeah, Vetra. I could use a favor. You're not Vetra, you're sure. Korra. What do you need? <laughs> I can't You're my Dragonine Pokemon, Sarisa, though. And my not being a Pathfinder. And the thinking turned into a project on EOS. Can you help me finish it? Depends on what it is. I'll put the nav points in the helm. Come along and I'll show you. Um, you're literally standing right in front of me. Why can't you tell me about your project now? We have to go to EOS anyway for, to see Gil. So now we just gotta find Vetra. Who is probably in her room? Petra. Petra, look. You what? realize that even if I do find it, it's going to cost you. This is a quest, and you know I'm always true to my word, so just get it done. Uh oh. I'm hearing the cat activities down. I bet the Archon's still nursing his wounds. Cause I kicked his ass. That means he can be beaten. <laughs> the cat can be beaten. People are waking up to that. Didn't sound like you were discussing cat over comms when I walked in, though. Nope. Wasn't. I have a friend keeping a lookout for a lamp. One brought from home, but stolen in the revolt. A uh, lamp? <laughs> I didn't think you were so sentimental. I'm not the only one. Suvi has her father's antique instruments, Cora her Asari prayer book, and Liam has the junk that Liam collects. <laughs> the junk that Liam collects. These things are important. <laughs> a couch. Remind us where we came from. Liam has a couch. <laughs> I know what you mean. I never want to forget what I left behind. Even as we look forward to the future. Yes. Definitely romance so in the second place. What's about this lamp? It's awful. It's got a butt naked Asari for the stand, and she's holding a moon. A butt One naked of your Asari? One possessions is a really ugly lamp. lamp. <laughs> the foreman at my first job had this lamp. When he was mean, I'd focus on it so he wouldn't see me upset. Now I keep it so I remember where I started. How Most did she life get doing it? Stuff to survive, <laughs> taking shit from assholes, or being one. I don't have to do that anymore. I can start over. Something honest. Haha, <laughs> honest. <laughs> and waste your skills, honey you really want to start over after everything you've been through. Well, that's what she came to Andromeda. The point I assume. is, I have the choice of changing if I wanted to. For a while, I didn't care that I'd lost the lamp. Everything was a mess in it. Just didn't matter. But we've made progress, Ryder. Small things matter again. People are daring to dream. Yeah! It's nice we'll find your lamp, it'll be awesome. I know. I like being able to let go and do something for myself for once. Let's hope this is just the start, huh? No. That's sweet. Now we need to go to Pedromos. Because we have to do something for Gil. He's going to introduce us to Miss Jill, who wants to have a baby with him. And <laughs> then we also need to go figure out whatever the hell Coral wants. And then once we've done that, we can go do this dissension in the ranks, and then finally, go onwards. We're going to meet Gil! Hi Gil! Just standing there in the hot sun. Just chilling. Hey bro! You're here. Yeah, so listen, she's only got a minute or two, and she's in rare form today, just to warn you. Rare She's form? She's kick-starting repopulation protocols, reversing the chemical procreation blockers for colonists. Calls it boosting the batter. <laughs> She's gonna try and get you to do it. Wait, she's gonna try and get me to get pregnant? I'm busy. <laughs> but it is a job. Here to do. Woman takes her job seriously. Hey, if you're cool with it. I mean, I'm not gonna have- No, never mind to me. Yeah. No chance I'll ever oops a baby into the world. Am I uh, interrupting uh, something? Hi! Ah, Jill. Well, my boyfriend's not human, this so... Is... Save it. I asked you both to stop by, remember? Ryder? Pleasure. I know we're all very busy, so I have only one question for you. Yeah, <laughs> you wanna boost my you batter? You wanna know if you can reverse my chemical procreation blocker? Blocker? You baby. I see my reputation precedes me. The question is... <laughs> what the hell did you do to him? It's like he's an adult or something. Oh! We can even have a mature conversation without it degrading into pot shots. 
Unless I take it there. Much I should have secret. <laughs> it's all Gil. I have nothing to do with it. It's all him. I call bullshit on that. <laughs> it's definitely your influence. Something. I mean, maybe a maybe little. Years, you thought you knew me. You were sadly mistaken. You wish. Okay, you're both off the hook. So glad I got to meet you, Ryder. Likewise. <laughs> she was literally there for two seconds, then turns around and leaves. What? <laughs> well, okay then. Um, we're gonna have to go and meet up with Cora. But I also have to make sure I have Cora in my party because evidently we need Cora in the party for whatever the hell she's planning. Hopefully it doesn't involve explosions because I am not prepared for explosions. I'd rather keep the fighting to the minimum until we get to the dissension in the ranks, which I know is an important side quest, and the end game, which I think will be coming right after. Oh boy. Alrighty. Cora, my dearest dear. We'll replace you from fetch. I think I've got everybody loyal now. We've done Cora's. We've done Vetros, we've done Jaws, we've done PBs, we've done Tracks, we've done- Yeah, we've got everybody loyal! I'm okay with this! How do I get off here? Um... <laughs> oh good, bridge. I like there being a bridge. Good time for a field op, Jal. What's your combat disposition? Combat disposition? Before they see me. Do I need another one? <laughs> do I need another one? Maybe. No, that'll do fine. Whee! Ryder, get constructs ahead. Alright, what are you doing, honey? But wait, what? Are we killing something? Oh gosh darn it, Nappa! Okay, come here. Bonk! That's one way to kill things by hitting them in the face with biotics. The plan I like. Aw, did y'all kill them before I could? That's rude. Okay, can I do the thing now? No? Yes? Maybe? Possibly let's do the thing. Okay. Meet Cora! Well, she's right there. I'm not meeting her anywhere. She's already here. So where's your mystery project? Not far. That is not an explanation. Soil converter. No remnant terraformer, but it makes sandy dirt into something useful. Eventually. Add seeds. Okay. Some rain. And you've got a garden. She's making a garden out of here in the middle of nowhere? That is a terrible idea. It won't bloom for a while. This is your dream. That's right. You wanted a garden of your own. No, but she needs a house too, or nobody's, or the cat are gonna trample all over years. her garden. I might not even see it, but that's okay. A sorry think in centuries. Lay a foundation, then step away. Let it grow into something you might never expect. Pathfinder training was my foundation. Gave me a whole galaxy of directions I could go. I don't need someone else's plan. Just a good beginning. The first seeds of a garden. Aww. One I started with my friend. D at least just don't throw it in my face or anything. I'm not dressed for gardening. <laughs> Should I get my straw hat and overalls for this? <laughs> Never change, Ryder. <laughs> I'm a dork. <laughs> Ready? One, two. Don't throw it in my face! Is that supposed to be the seeds, or did they just throw sand for no reason? I'm gonna go if they threw, like, the dirt out of the terraformy thing, Bob, or something. I don't know what just happened. Let's go to the frickin' what's next. I don't know, man.
What's next? Okay, oh! Well, okay then, that was all of them. So, let's go for Dissension in the Ranks. We're going to Elodin to investigate the Crashed Pet Ships. So it said that Lexi wanted to speak to me when I got on the ship, and I got an email from Vetra saying she wanted to go to Kadara, so I guess we're putting off Elodin a little bit longer. But... Okay, what do you want, Lexi? We His name is totally not Levy. Dr. Right. Arrow does not approve of how we escaped to the cat containment field on the Archon's flagship. Are you killing me? By stopping the Pathfinder's heart. No, I do not approve. It worked. Relax, Doc. It turned out okay. Dying, even temporarily, is never okay. That's the man. Ryder, Sam killed you. Yes, he brought you back, but what if he didn't? I cannot learn without the Pathfinder. That would be akin to killing a part of myself. There's your answer, bro. Your lines of code. You can't die. Sam would never hurt me. Thank you, Ryder. No. <sighs> Look, I'm not against <laughs> Sam. You're with you, idiot. I'm not <laughs> against you, Sam. But my job's hard enough without an AI stopping your heart. Even to save your life. Okay, I'll stop dying. Hey, it's fine. Find a new party trick. Have Gil teach you three card Monty or something. Lex, <laughs> I apologize for any distress I have caused you. And I'm sorry for calling you lines of code. Well, he's not You're wrong. <laughs> Even if you don't have cells to prove it. Aww. Angry Lexi was angry. Okay, now let's go to frickin' Kadara to meet... Lexi, Le <laughs> to meet Vetra. Why is talking so hard? To meet Vetra, and then after that we'll go to Elodin for so the Pinocchio thing in the box. She's a widow of one of my pilots. The people you were training to explore the Scourge. <gasps> uh -oh. Zoe's wife was lost out there. For a fellow pilot, one does the right thing. Like making sure her widow has got enough credits. It's the least I can do. The most is conquering the Scourge once and for all. That's nice of him. I'm giving a boatload of credits to the widow of one of the people that he got killed. Okay, he didn't get them killed directly. But he did train them, and then they got killed by Scourge. Alright, Betra, what did you want me to see? <laughs> We're going rock climbing? You were right. The view is great from up here. We're not even to the top yet. Come on, I'll race you. This is a, a race up this cliff. This is a terrible idea Let's that carabiners and Let's go, and ascenders and rope. This and is no a jump jets. No one likes a cheat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a cheat. All right, that's it. I'm gonna show you how it's done. Even though she has a head start. You can try. Pride goes before a fall. As long as you don't actually fall. Also, where's, uh, Joel? Is he just watching this from above going? It's a nice, nice ass there. I like that ass. That's my ass. <laughs> I'm gonna jump at it. Woo! <laughs> I'm rude. <laughs> I'm rude. <laughs> I'm gonna just be rude. <laughs> Told you I'd show you. <sighs> but she also said no jump dance. Oh, I am well and truly shown. <laughs> wow. It's all going to be like this, huh? Yep. No. Better. Is this where you're going to put your house? For 14 months, I wondered if I'd made a mistake coming here and dragging my sister with me. I don't wonder anymore. Boarding the Tempest that day was the best decision I ever made. Aww. Yes, it was. I'm glad you came aboard too. Yes, it was, fam. Same without you. Is that it? Oh, touch. Hey, hey, lady, you you are a one Angaran woman, so please don't. Also, as long as there isn't something else that happens when I get onto the Tempest, we will be going to Elodin. And of course, when I get onto the Tempest, Subi wants to talk to me. Do you need a break? Do you need a break? Let's go for a break. Sumi's adorable, I like her. Maybe she'll be like my third or fourth romance, we'll see. Care for some tea, Ryder? I, I like tea. Tea's good. It's a cultivar originating in Sumatra. My own personal stash. 
Once I run out, that'll be it for Earth Tea. Why didn't you bring any seeds? I keep having these thoughts. You can still have Earth Tea. I'm never gonna taste this again. I'm never gonna see that again. Oh, honey. You're not the only one, Suvi. You should have brought I have those senseless thoughts all the damn the time. Tea. And? Do they bother you? It's natural. You'd have to be no, they don't really bother his home sometimes. The universe is like a giant tapestry. I love following its threads, but it distracts me from the whole picture. My family was right there, but I was too occupied by the abstract to appreciate them. Oh, honey, science is amazing. You're a pioneer in a new galaxy. Your family understood that, and they were proud of you. Your work as a scientist will help thousands of people. That's real. It was a dream for all of us. They always encouraged me. And now they are very dead. I will do all I can to make sure my work honors them. Thank you, Ryder. I mean, silver lining, you know, shit they don't know about, but silver lining being that, uh... What? Silver lining being that, um... She got away from the Reapers! Because for all we know, if Sufi hadn't gone into the Andromeda Initiative, she would have been killed by the Reapers. Because that happens, like, immediately after. What's this? Space Hamster! Guys! Space Hamster. The return of the Space Hamster. Best pet in all of Andromeda. My name is Commander Ryder, and that is the best pet on the Nexus. In Helios. Helios. Yeah. All right, here we go, you guys. We got a crashed ship and a whole shit ton of cat to kill. Yes, cat killing other cat. You, you heard correctly. Let's murder all of them. Cause I like that. M murdering, murdering defenseless cat. It's fine. I completely missed that. I'm, I'm a dog. This is what I get for not playing this game for like a week and a half. Completely forgetting how to actually play the game. All right, Brosa. Where are you at? Where's he at? Where's he at? There he is! Bonk! And bonk again, and then shoot you in the face! And you as well, why not? Bonk! And he's dead. Okay. Oh shit, where'd you guys come from? You Boom! Still love that biotic combo. Okay. Did we kill them all? No? Oh! There's a dude there! Hi! How you doing? What's up? What the hell are you trying to kill? There, there's nothing there for you to kill, Brosif. Nothing there- oh, wait. Wait, 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 I'm getting close to it. Is on the other side? Aha! A container! Oh. What? Oh, a data pad! What's this? It appears to be a cat data log pathfinder. It may contain saved data of some variety. Then we should take it! Can we access this data, Sam? The device is locked. God damn it. That's never stopped you before, but when has a simple lock ever stopped no. you, Sam? Come on, hack this thing. Pathfinder, it is not just a simple lock. We have never <laughs> encountered a cat device with security like this before. I suggest we bring it back to the Tempest for further analysis. Like That's a terrible idea. That sounds like a really, really bad idea. Because if Bass picked two with any indication, but you take alien tech and you bring it on board to your ship, then bad things happen. AKA the Reaper IFF. Causing you need to shut down and all the systems go fucking haywire and then everybody got kidnapped and we had to save them. And thankfully we saved them in time before anybody melted. Except the people who were already there, of course, we couldn't save them. They were fucked. But we saved the people on the Normandy. Who are from the Normandy, so I mean that's all that matters, really. <laughs> okay, Suvi. What you got for me, friendo? Welcome. It's almost unbelievable that some of the cat would be fighting their own. Cat civil war? The cat always seems so monolithic. Almost faceless. Maybe they'll kill themselves. I wish we saw more of that fighting. Wouldn't shed a tear if they wiped themselves out. Whatever they've done, they're still a unique, fascinating species. It's hard for me to wish them all dead. 
Anyway, I mean, not all of them, just the ones who are trying to kill our people. you found by their destroyed ship. It's secured with a biometric lock that can only be activated with a specific genetic code. So, like a fingerprint scan, except with a genetic fingerprint. Exactly. Whatever's in this, it's probably only meant for trusted individuals. So we have to capture a cat. So you're saying I have to track down some cat? But that would be impossible, Ryder. No, -uh, nothing's impossible for me. genetic samples you scanned on Vault. Lexi's been working on the data, and I have an idea that just might work. We should go talk with her when you have time. How about we go talk to her now because I don't got anything else to do? This is literally our last mission before we go towards the end game. Okay, Lexi, what are we gonna have to do? We're going to have to then install me with cat DNA. Is that is that what's going on? Am I gonna turn into a cat? Cause that seems like a terrible idea, and I have no proof of it. Got your memo, Suvi. Data's right here, but I'm not sure what you're expecting to find. Tell me you have it all sequenced. Yes, of course. It was the first thing I Perfect. Sam, can you test combinations of sequences against the lock? Testing. Brute force, Dr. Anwar? <laughs> Tried and true methods. And with Sam's processing speed, it should take no time at- Key found. Oh, there we go. We thought it was a data log, but it, but it's not. It's- It's- In what? Uh, it just locked onto a transmission. Turn it off! Oh crap, turn it off! Who knows what it's doing? The device is a- I knew this is a terrible idea. Will reveal our location. This transmission is audio. The Archon has abandoned our way. Sperm's tradition defies protocol. He abuses his authority, obsesses over remnant secrets, and keeps us cut off from home. This cannot continue. He will return to the path of right or be destroyed. This is my promise. An Archon stands tall only while we hold him up. Uh-oh. Enemy by enemy so by friend. for the Archon. I'd say that's something we can exploit. You don't mean try to make some kind of deal? Yes. Don't know yet. What else is in the transmission? It's the same stuff. It repeats. I, I wonder if there's a way to trace the signal. Scanning for nav point. I'll transmit it to your Omni tool in case you want to check it out. Yay! What do you think we'll find out there? Probably some know. allies, hopefully. It might be a base of Ket dissidents organizing against the Archon. Whatever it is, please be careful, Ryder. Locate the source of the signal. Uh, of course, it's on. Yes. Because I can't have nice things, I have to go all the way around the galaxy to find, like, little pieces of shit. Alright, here we go! For resources. Oh! Minerals, Wait a minute! Interface. This is the place I was in- Loot from our Oh! Outpost. And ages an ago! Escape pod. Where'd they get that? Crap. Do you think they might have found an arc? Oh, we already found we the arc, it's fine. Scan. No, 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 we don't. We already found all the arcs, it's fine. But, hey! We've been here. We were here like one of the earlier episodes. This is the nav point Suvi gave us, but there's nothing here. Just this beacon. Just a terminal. It's probably a proxy to hide the true location. Whoever it is doesn't want the Archon to know what they're doing. Oh. Play the audio log. Oh dear. Dear he R11 Holor, in need of. Of assistance. Rude! I'm under aware of where it is. Dispose of it. Sure, we can't find a way to kill him again. I like this idea. I, I like murder -ing. I mean, what? Scan the thingy! Track the signal to the second relay. Great, we're going on a wild goose chase. Pathfinder, I have located another node on this network. Sam, shut up! We're not going mining! Sam, I swear to god. Okay, so where are we going now? Oh, over here. Might as well just fast travel that because I am too lazy to go running around in the Nomad when I don't need to. If I can fast travel, I'm a fast travel. Because it takes less time and I want to get to the end game. Because it'll probably be in the next episode. We'll finish this game. We'll finish this game. And then maybe we'll finish Final Fantasy. Finally. Come on. Come on, friendo. Okay then, that's not how we get up there. 
Mann! Oh, we have to turn around. <laughs> it's been a while since I've been on Pedromos. Do we have to turn around? No, because that just puts us right back in the hole. Where do you want me to go, Gabe? I need to get on the cliff. Is it over here? Yes, it is over here. Okay. Found a way onto the cliff. We don't have to completely mountain goat this time. We just have to mountain goat it a little bit. Shoot. Hey, am I going the right way? Maybe. Pathfinder, I detect a cat camp ahead. Aha! We are probably going the right way because it's a detect kit camp. That's exactly what we are looking for. Oh Jesus, not the way I wanted to go, not the way I wanted to go, not the way I wanted to go. Scourge Remnant, don't let it touch you. Backing up, backing up. Not where we're meant to go. Okay. Why is it so hard to navigate these places? I just fell off a cliff. Where? Why? Why is it so hard to get to a cat base on top of a freaking mountain? Hmm? I just want to get to the cat base on top of a freaking mountain. Okay? Okay, friend. Can do this. Maybe. Ha! Success! Okay. Stop, nerds! I probably shouldn't have done that while I was in the air. <laughs> Stuff doesn't auto log. Okay, there's one dead. Oh. I wanted to kill with my sword. Why'd you have to blow him up? Rude. Oh, I can't get. I can't get in. That's not very nice. See where this beacon leads us. Um. Oh, I'm going to assume the obvious generator. On the other side! Alright, where's the scanning scan? Scan scan. Track the signal to the third relay. Okay. Which is. All the way on Bumpfuck Nowhere. <laughs> Alright, and we should be at what is hopefully the last beacon! And by that I mean time to kill some pet. What's up, nerd? Oh god, hi, how you doing? What's up, bro? Um... Please die. I don't like you. I want you dead. Thank you. I don't like the Gatling gun guys. Cause they're really good at killing me. And I don't like things that are really good at killing me. Like this guy. I don't like him either. Cause he's also good at killing me. So I could kill him back. Oh, that's Vetra. Never mind. Uh, sorry Vetra! I uh, shot at Vetra. I, I shot at my sister from another species, mister. I apologize. I am a terrible person. But let's go track the signal. I'm gonna just turn this off. Alright, what are we doing? There's a fourth one! Are you kidding me? Can we not? Pathfinder, I have located another. Oh, hi! Updating your Omni tool for the information. Nope. Looks like that's it for hostiles. Alright! We have found the building and a shit ton of aluminum. Okay. What? Yes, but there's also some living cat, so. We need to do something about that. And by that I mean we need to do this. Oh shit! What's shooting at me? Holy crap! Can we not? Can we not? Holy crap. Can we not? I don't wanna die. That's what I get for running into a place and the enemy spawn after I get there. Nope! Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him dead. Nope! Okay, that's a dead dude. Oh god, nope, 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 don't hit me the grenade, please. Please, 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 please don't kill me. Uh, Jaw, there's a dude behind you. Jaw, there's a dude behind you. There's also a dude behind me. Shh. I am finding Calvert! Give me a second! Jerk face! Okay, he's dead. Okay, I haven't died yet. That's, that's, that's an improvement. Nope! Okay, now can we investigate? <laughs> How are you 
finished getting ambushed by dudes that totally weren't there when I arrived and they just popped out of nowhere because they hadn't loaded properly. <clears throat> I mean, what? Uh oh. Uh oh. It's a thing! Well, we found it. This looks like a comm console. It's probably what's sending out the messages. Yep. All that work, and this is all we get? Yep, we don't get crap. You are a single-minded creature, Pathfinder. And you're a jerk! I see it now. Your determination will grant the Ket dominion over this galaxy. What? Um... Fuck you. Not <laughs> much, asshole. Yeah! This posturing benefits no one. Our confrontation is inevitable, not imminent. I did not reveal myself as a traitor easily. I did so only because I seek a mutual benefit. Getting rid of the Archon. Yep, the Archon and then we'll kill each other. The Remnant incites chaos and endangers all we've worked for. This must end. Chaos sounds good to me. Still not seeing how I don't benefit from chaos within Cat ranks. Because it means the Archon lives and challenges you for Meridian, which you desire. I need only ensure nothing stands between you and your target. Once he is cut down, the Remnant will cease to be a concern. We will complete our purpose here and leave. Excellent. What's your purpose? One yeah. Day you will be family. Till then, fight if you must. But I offer a reprieve from could this we not? so you can destroy a mutual enemy. Take it. We'll need all the help we can get. The Ket cannot be trusted. Ryder, think. Oh! Oppose the Archon. The Archon says he will use Meridian to dominate this cluster. He says Meridian will bring us victory. We have never needed Remnant to be victorious. No, he wants more. His ambition is plain. He wants I to rule the universe. universe. Ha ha ha. What exactly do I get from this deal? Sometime soon, I will be called upon by the Archon to destroy you. When that time arrives, I will provide you with the means to disable my ship. Or you could just leave me alone. That too. And should you fail to bring down the Archon, my treachery will be exposed. Clever. Oh, okay, this could make our lives easier down the line. But at the same time, he is also Cat. Mm. Okay, I love you, Vetra Baby, but no deal. We don't deal with Cat, ever. So be it. I hope you found some satisfaction chasing my messages. You will gain nothing else from this. I bid you goodbye, Pathfinder. We will not speak again. Except when I kill you. I mean, yeah, there's that. Yeah, I know that might have been a bad idea for the end game, but you know what? Sometimes you have to think in the long term, and the long term says this is a terrible idea. So, with that, I'm gonna end this episode now, because I need to go do some stuff, and in the end, we're going to be going Actually, you know what? Let's get to the point of no return. That's what I'll do. Instead of ending the episode now, we'll go to the point of no return, and we'll end it there. So whenever the point of no return is, and I think I know when it is, because I did look up when the point of no return is, so I know when it is. And once we get to that point, then we can have the last episode of Mass Effect. And drama. Which means we gotta go to the Nexus and talk some All systems. Alright, here we go, you guys. Gotta go yeah. talk to the leaders. They're waiting for you. About Meridian. Careful. Careful. Right what do you mean? A sentimental choice saving those Krogan. She looked at them and thought of you. Ryder's her own person. Just admit you don't like Krogan. <laughs> <laughs> the I love Tesh. Well, Ryder, always go with Tesh. We just discussing your encounter with the Archon. Sorry. It's true. I had to leave some Solarians behind, Director Tan. I'm sorry about that. Noted. Though it is good to see Ark Parchero reunited with the Nexus. Yeah, see, he got a lot of Solarians back. Gained, provoking the Archon like this. He had a map showing the location of Meridian. And now we, now have, we it. have it. Yeah. A short window to get there. It's the control center for the terraforming network. If we get that working, all our problems are solved. Based on what data? This is all alien science. It's been working so far, dumbass! Suggest that Meridian is the key. 
And all the other votes. I appreciate what you've done for our strike teams. We're not equipped for a war with the cat. They'll be defending Meridian with everything they've You've got. already got a war with the cat! Jesus! If we do nothing, I guarantee there's a fight coming. The Archon's already studying how to exalt us. It's not pretty. Still, it's better to focus on the outposts. If the cat attack, at least our people won't be in one place. No, it's not! Then there's this <gasps> oh, they're so dumb. Yours. We took a chance letting AI get involved. Cash, Frankly, not you too. I'm uncomfortable with just how involved it's become. Cash, not you too. I two. like you, Ryder. I really do. But I can't support your plan. Then you're a dumbass. Then I will. Hate her! And uh, so will I. God. Yes! I agree. I've got the Pathfinders right, on my side. A to try. I applaud to you. <laughs> but you answer to me. I hope you understand. I don't give a crap what you think, Tan. What's the matter, Tan? Don't want anyone else overshadowing you? You've got four Pathfinders against you. Pathfinder initiative. The chain of command has to be respected. That Excuse is you. I don't give a fuck, Tan. We're doing it anyway. Why am I surprised? I don't exactly have a plan B. There may be a way. I love how we're talking about this in front of me. There was an urgent message for you. They said your brother is awake. Scott's awake? What? what? Go. We'll talk later. In the tech lab. Yes! My bro's awake! We gotta go see my bro! Broski, 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 broski. I know he doesn't get to join my party, even though that would be awesome if he did. But still. Broski, broski, broski. We haven't seen our brother except for the flashbacks in, like, the writer quest since the very beginning of the game. Scott. It's my bro! There you are. Broski! Hug, 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 hug my bro. Time. That's a terrible hug. Do you hug. think you slept in long enough? I thought it was Saturday, then Sunday. Then I figured someone turned the alarm off. Oh, honey. Broski. Well, I sure missed having you around. Nice facial scar. <laughs> I you forgot I gave him that. Patches along the way. I'm sorry I wasn't there when Dad died. No one could have saved him, Scott. I wasn't even sure I should tell you. I'm glad you did. That would have been a hell of a thing to wake up to. Yep, even though he freaked out at the him. time. But right about now, he'd be telling us to stop moaning and get on with it. There's no shortage of things to do. <laughs> yeah, I hear you're the great and honorable Madam Pathfinder. Excuse you! Jeez, it's nothing like that. <laughs> as soon as I get my gear, well... Not yet! Full. You have been in cryostasis for ages, bro. And then in a coma. Fit for duty, sir. You need a chance to mend. Yeah, says who? Says me! I know you don't like being reminded you're my little brother, but you are. So relax, and let your sister take care of things. Hmm. If you say so. More sleep for me. You can keep talking if you'd like. Just no arm wrestling. Because I kick his ass! <laughs> I kick my bro's ass so hard! Pathfinder okay. Ricks. We have some ideas about Marie. I don't even care, Rix. We're talking to my brother. The loop, I imagine? A little, though I've heard bits and pieces of things from Harry and the medtechs. Sounds pretty serious. It's very serious. Also, I have a boyfriend. He is an alien that we met in this, um, cluster. His name's Joel. Hope you like him. Just the fate of the entire initiative. Every man, woman, child, and everything in between facing certain extinction. The usual. Oh, don't worry about it. Oh. Well, I'm sure the Pathfinder manual covers that. <laughs> yeah. We'll have it wrapped by lunch. There's a race of aliens called the Cat. They're led by a scary nutjob named Archon who wants to turn all of us into them. We both want Meridian, which is the heart of an alien terraforming network we're trying to activate. We do that, maybe we live. And if we don't do that, we all die! ...being all proactive. Meanwhile, I'm mastering the art of peeing in a plastic jar. Yeah, you were in a coma, bro. You can't really blame yourself for that. You should also know. Dad was keeping some secrets from us. Like what? A Turns lot of shit. Sam is even smarter than anyone knew. And Dad juiced his connection to Sam. It's a lot more powerful than other Pathfinders. So is mine. I guess rank has its privileges. What was Dad up? Yeah, I guess. Dad encrypted some of his memories in Sam. I've started unlocking them. What were they? You and I were there. So was Mom. You actually saw her? It was at the hospital the day she died. And that 
reunion dinner she wanted us at so badly. Right. Dad was his usual talkative self. Talkative. There was something else. I saw Dad talk with a benefactor in the Milky Way. Some initiative bigwig I'd never heard of. That's news to me. Yeah. I'm still hoping I can figure out what it all means. It's the elusive man. It's always the elusive man. Feeling homesick at all? Still trying to get my sea legs, but I think about what might have been if everything hadn't gotten screwed up. Uh, what do you mean, honey I think would be different. Well, while you were looking for Prothean artifacts, I was standing watch over a Mass Effect relay. Hell of a thing to stare at every day. I dream about what was on the other side. The adventures I would have. Which one was it? I would accomplish. Was it the Omega or 3 or Omega 4? Up. Well, I guess I'll never know. The Omega 4 relay? Screwed up how? We'll start with mom dying. I never cried so hard. And dad? He was never the same after that. No. He put so much into Sam to save her, but... Well, AI's as illegal as it gets in the Milky Way. And Sam's a very smart AI. For it, everything changed. Suddenly being Alec Ryder's kid was a black mark. You and I were never going to live that down. So we left the Milky Way entirely because fuck that shit. <laughs> Okay. That's all for now. Well, Bye, I'll let you take Scott. it easy then. My yeah, brother, I'm very sweet. I am. Got a nap, then doze a bit, then uh. try to catch up on sleep. It'll get better. <laughs> now before you find that meridian, I want in. I'll take pictures. No. Oh. But I really wish, I really wish they let your brother be like a. Another squad mate, like an end game final mission squad mate. I really wish they would let your brother be an end game like final mission squad mate, because that would be so cool. That would be so cool. Oh, definitely missed opportunity. I mean, I guess it could still technically happen, and I haven't seen spoilers for the end game, so I don't know. But still, it doesn't look like it's probably going to happen. Shrug. Sigh. Okay, let's do the- oh wait, no, they're on my ship, aren't they? Yeah, they are. To no, wait, no, the no, wait, no, they're on the lab up here. Whee! Running around the ship. Oh, I wish I could use my jump jets. I could get around so much faster if I had my jump jets. Okay, let's talk. Pathfinder brethren. Ryder, good to see you. We've been working with Dr. Aradana and her team on the problem of getting to Meridian. We think we have the answer. I'm listening. What is it? It's plans for new technology we've designated Ghost Storm. This is not Desert Storm. As you approach Meridian, our own ships can broadcast fake returns for the Tempest. The Ket won't know which is real. It will confuse their sensors and draw their ships off. It could buy you some time. And if it doesn't? Sounds like this has never been tested. What if it doesn't work? You're clever. I'm sure you'll figure something out. Thanks, Vitas. This going against the initiative. We're on our own. Tan can get bent. You I don't care. Hear that. Hear what? We've been collating gamma charts all day. <laughs> I like these people. These are, my, these are my favorite people now. So I still wish we had Rika. Because I liked her. Or Rika. Job. Part of being a Pathfinder. Let's get moving! Let's get to it then. The Archon isn't sitting on his hands. First, you'll need to research the Ghost Storm technology. Then we'll rendezvous at Meridian. Good luck. Okay then! Integrate the Ghost Storm technology with Tempest to help other Pathfinders. Okay then, let's go back to the Tempest and hope this doesn't just completely blow up on our faces. Because that happens a lot. <laughs> How did I not break my legs during that? Oh wait, because I'm magic. And I have biotic abilities. And I have an AI in my brain that can stop my heart! Because that's not scary! Except it is. It's very scary. I don't, I don't like having an AI in my brain that can stop my heart randomly. Granted, it came in handy, but at the same time... <laughs> Shoo. 
Alright. This is our last warning. Okay, Kello wants to talk to us. Great. We have a bunch of shit. And it's connected with the Solarian Arc. Alright, are you busy? I'm gonna celebrate properly. Pathfinders only. Talk a moment. Okay, looks like I got some more shit to do. Ah, there you are. Ah! I was wondering, when you found the Solarian Ark, was anything strange, out of place? Um, everything, I mean, bro. Besides the exalted Krogan, the relics, and getting jabbed in the neck. Why are you asking? Because a few hours ago, we received this. Hello, uh -oh. Ryder. I don't think the Solarian Ark was captured by chance. If you want to know more, meet me at these coordinates. That's all. Do you think it's some sort of hoax? Uh-oh! Now that I think about it, a Ket Armada just stumbling across the Solarian Ark seems a little convenient. Coincidences do happen, though when you put it I like that- I thought we were going to the end game! The coordinates for this meeting in the next oh no! Computer. I suppose there's no harm in making sure. Great! We have lots of shit to do! And people to talk to, and we have to integrate the Ghost Storm technology to Tempest to help the other Pathfinders, and then we have to go meet the Pathfinders so we can celebrate, and then we have a billion other things to do. Uh. The crew in the Tempest the meeting room to prepare for the mission. Been fully researched, Pathfinder. Excellent. We're ready to make our push on Meridian then. No, we're not. I'll call a meeting immediately. No, we're not. We're not ready. We got other shit to do out of apropos of nothing. Yeah, now we've got two more quests to do. Speak with Sam and Sam Nude about- Ooh. We're the- We're- Yeah, we're here already, so we might as well do that one. I will be back. You name- Actually, you know what? Mm, do I need- No, let's not edit now. Okay. I- I keep like- I want to end the episode, but I also want to have the entire ending as one nice, compact episode. And I don't want to have, like, extra quests in that episode, but... Okay. We'll just do this last writer memory, and then the next episode will be all end game. And then I can move on to recording Final Fantasy X. Because I haven't recorded any Final Fantasy X, so I've just been recording this. So I'm trying to get every single of the main three, four four Let's Plays that I've been working on, done, and into my backlog before I bring my channel back out of hiatus. Which is an explanation that once I come out of hiatus, nobody's gonna see for a while, because <laughs> it's in like the sixth or seventh aspect episode that I have recorded. Alright, here we are! Company. What? It's excruciating. Oh, it's the each of you I again! experience psychological distress, as you describe it. Do you experience <laughs> any emotions? Nope. No, and I am intrigued as to why you do. You find me intriguing. I ship it! I ship it so hard! One of your father's memories is available. And it's the last one, probably. Let's see it. A moment. There is an added layer of security. Uh-oh. What was it Jean Garson said? The code word is... Fulcrum? That worked. This is the last memory your father encrypted, from the final planning stages of Hyperion's departure. Uh-oh. <laughs> Are we gonna find out who this mysterious benefactor is? Is it the elusive man? Castus, thanks for calling. Castus? <gasps> That's Gareth's father! I owe you. Those were good days on the Citadel, Alec. <laughs> I checked with my son, Garrus. He's in now. He says the Council thinks Commander Shepard's story is bogus. Shepard! Uh, but... Privately, I've heard they're starting to wander. This threat... They're called Reapers? Shepard's word for them. Something about a cycle, an extinction event that happens every 50,000 years. It's Garrus' wow. dad! <laughs> and supposedly the alarm clock's about to go off again. Unbelievable. I know. But according to Garrus, Shepard's as level headed as they are. Aww, Garrus called me level headed. So, if the commander says these Reapers are coming, I don't want to be around to see them. He wanted Thanks, to go. Justice. Take care. Wait a minute, does that mean he joined us? What? Hi, Sam! Yes? I checked Benefactor. around. There might be something to this. If there is a war, the scramble for resources will be on a scale we've never seen before. The chaos will be monumental. We should accelerate our timetable. Though we'll keep the reason quiet. No need to alarm anyone. 
So that so part of the reason was because of the reapers that got out. Before any fighting starts, we can't get caught in the crossfire. Agreed. Is there something else? Years ago, you mentioned salvation for a lot of people. You knew this was coming. Hmm. Something was coming. In theory. Shepard made it real. <laughs> Shepard! Okay, yeah, every time Shepard gets mentioned, I need a new home. We're going to be all that's left of civilization. Sam. Yes, Pathfinder? Track down my kids. Tell them their old man needs to talk. It's urgent. So this is how we got and the kids them. involved. She remains in stasis. As you hoped, it has suspended the progress of her disease. Make sure her pot is on the Hyperion. Don't use her real name. I'll tell the kids when the time is right. <laughs> Sam. Transfer Pathfinder access. Encrypt memories. <laughs> Mom's alive? There's still hope for your mother. <laughs> Mom is here? Alive? Alec blocked all knowledge of this memory. I now recall his directive to put Ellen into stasis. What? He hoped it would halt further progress of her disease until a cure could be found. What the fuck? This should never have been kept secret. Your father didn't want to raise false hopes. This is the reason you were made Pathfinder. To see the process through. Where's Mom now? Here on the Hyperion. Ellen is in a stasis pod under a false name. Elizabeth Riley. Mom's alive! Okay! <laughs> so this was Dad's plan. Alec could not live with the thought of Ellen recovering, only to discover you had died. He sacrificed himself to ensure you and Scott could one day be reunited with your mother. He was also concerned that what he knew about the Reapers and the Benefactor remained secret. He entrusted you with this knowledge. Additional logs with pertinent information are now unlocked in Alex's quarters. Jesus Christ, okay. Now we know what Gian Garson meant. That something big spooks the benefactor. It was these Reapers. Yep. What do you know about them? A Spectre operative in the Milky Way, Commander Shepard, launched Shepherd. an investigation in 2183 into the existence of an ancient race known as Reapers. According to Shepard's information, the Reapers invade the Milky Way every You've had like no contact with the previous games besides this and a couple of other little things. Allegedly, this cycle has been occurring for millions of years. Shepard claimed the Reapers' return was imminent. But why was Gian Garson murdered? Recall Garson's words about the Benefactor. Now they're moving a hundred thousand of us to Andromeda. I hope it's all for good. But I have my doubts. Uh oh. What does that mean? Who was, or is, the benefactor? Unknown. How's you're not helping, bro? That was over 600 years ago. Was Shepard right? Did the Reapers come back? Additional locks in your father's quarters have unlocked. Their implications are... troubling. Pray. Your father believed it prudent that you have this information, should anything happen to him. Oh, shit. Got it. I need to go find Mom. Mom is alive! Mommy is alive, but we gotta go see what this is. This guy is still sitting there, just chilling, with his gun out, kneeling over. That's weird. Okay, archive system. Your father's personal logs. Whew. Milky Way emergency. Just arrived in Andromeda. Before the rest of the Hyperion wakes up, I've checked our comms for any signals from the Milky Way. Looks like sometime in 2186, everything went to hell. Yep. <laughs> but I'm just ahead of it. Commander Shepard was right. So was our mysterious benefactor. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alan, oh boy. this is Jan Garson. For the record, year 2185. It's about Fulcrum. I'm on the Nexus and we're going into stasis for the voyage. Looks like you're already asleep. I'm very uncomfortable with our benefactor. And the fact that we still don't know who they are. All these lives in our hands. I should have done something sooner. This is all very troubling, Alec. Let's talk as soon as you reach Andromeda. <laughs> and then she got murdered. Oh boy. Jen, I got your message about Fulcrum. It's now 2819. We reached Andromeda, but have no sign of the Nexus. 
I have the same concerns as you. Oh, I wonder who this benefactor is. In all likelihood, the Milky Way. Well, something terrible happened there. At least the benefactor spared us from that. But why keep hiding? Something's off. But we've got bigger problems at the moment. Habitat 7 may be a bust. Finding a home is all that matters now. Yay, home! Oh god, this is so... Oh god! Primark Victus! Oh, I am so glad I didn't end the episode when I did. Alliance personnel, please stand by for an emergency flash traffic message. This is a galaxy-wide alert for all human territories. Fleet Admiral Stephen Hackett has declared threat condition Saber 1. And presence confirmed in Soul System. Earth under Reaper attack. I say again, Reaper attack is underway. Other instructions to follow on coded channel Crimson Tacit. My god, son. Oh boy. Liara! Hello, Alec. This is Liara Tassoni, and the year is 2186. I don't know Liara. if you even received this message, but we corresponded years ago. I remember you spoke about a plan to settle Andromeda. I don't know if your arbs made it out of the Milky Way, but the worst has happened here. I'm with Commander Shepard and a brave crew. We're trying to build a weapon to turn the tide, but I fear that the civilization you remember, the people of the Milky Way as you knew them, could be gone forever. You may be all that's left. Please, don't forget us. Keep us alive in your hearts. And tell your children of the wonders that once were. On behalf of the crew of the Normandy SR2, this is Dr. Liara Tassoni, signing off. They actually did a really good job of that, because they all of these audio logs and everything, they don't give you an inkling of what canon ending Mass Effect 3 had, because if you think about that, it had four completely different, completely different end possible endings. Um... Sure, people may say, oh, they weren't that different, but if you think of, like, the ramifications of each one, they were very different. I'm securing these Milky Way reports. <sighs> this is the only copy, and I don't want it getting out. Whatever happened was 600 years ago. Someday we might break the news to everyone if the time's right. I guess we always knew that I mean, they can all be fine back. still. I mean, like, three of the endings are still fine, sort of. I mean, one of them, they're all, everybody's half robot now, but, you know. Oh boy. So, uh... Yeah! Shit! Stuff! Shenanigans! Let's go find our mother! Oh boy. My brother's gonna flip his lid. When he finds out that our mama is alive! But dad is still dead. That is, that is still, that is still very dead. Very, very, he kind of suffocated a little, just a little, little bit of suffocation. And also a little bit of helmet shattering. Some more suffocation. Wasn't really good. Okay, let's go get our brother. Oh, brother, I have a surprise for you. Oh, is, is that a door? That is not a door. That, that is not a door. Scarlet, that is not a door. This is a door. This is not good. Do, 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 do. We've gotta go wake up Wait, we don't want to wake up Mama yet because she's still sick. What's up, nerd? There you are. Hi, we have to have a talk. It's very important. Mom's alive. Okay, this is the pod you told me about. Who's Elizabeth Riley? It's Mom. I could have milked this a little, but this is Mom. What? I saw Dad's last memory. He brought her. E.R. isn't Elizabeth Riley. It's Ellen Ryder. I heard her in the cryo stasis right know. before she died. How? Wow. How is this possible? Oh, stasis froze her disease. Apparently. Putting her into stasis also put her disease on hold. Its progress has been halted. Alec put her in stasis after she fell unconscious in the hospital. This is incredible. 
So dad being a pain in the ass finally paid off. <laughs> yep. Who shake his hand and then punch him. Why didn't he tell us? Because he's a jerk. Thing, but does it really matter? She's still with us. Well, they're not orphans let's yet. Get her out of there. No, 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 we can't yet. That's inadvisable. Although Ellen is alive, reviving her would trigger the disease, which would prove fatal. And let's cure her. Can't we cure her, Sam? It's been 600 years. That was your father's plan. What do you mean? Alec hoped that in Andromeda, we would discover new scientific insights that could provide answers. Our journeys in Helios have indeed provided valuable genetic knowledge, information that could lead to a cure. Cure mommy! Is required. For the moment, enjoy the fact that she is still alive, and that your accomplishments will one day save her life. But what if we're like old people when that happens, and she like, and, and it's like a whole Ellen Ripley thing, she like wakes up and we're already dead? That would suck. Just make sure she stays safe, Sam. We lost her once. We're not losing her again. My original purpose was to ensure the survival of Ellen Ryder. It is a mission I hope the three of us will one day fulfill. Together. Oh, wait! Oh god, I just realized her name! Ellen Ryder. Ellen Ripley. I am okay with this. Alright, one more. One more quest. Maybe, possibly. And probably trying to cover the truth. No, 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 no. Ah, I want to go to the end game. I want to go to the end game so bad, but no. We're recording for an hour and forty-four minutes, and we are not done with the episode yet. Sigh. All right, here we go. And that message about the Solarian Arc. Yep. If there's truth to it, we should know. Hopefully, it's a cat ambush because, of course, it's a fucking cat ambush. Because everything in their mother is a cat ambush. But it's okay, I have this. Fuck! Can I blow it up at will? Oh, I can blow it up at will, can't I? Okay, so this guy is totally in my way. That's a bad thing. I don't like it. So my solution is to explode everything. And then over here and hopefully smash all oh, somebody else killed before I could. Where you at bro? There you are. I just wasted so much ammunition. Okay, and he's blown up. Okay. World's shortest ambush. Is that it? Um Oh, there's still a cat. Okay. Alright, show your head, my friend. Just just show your head for a second. Okay, you know what? Screw you. <laughs> it's like he he was he was taking too long, so I'm just gonna blow him up. So there's definitely something we need to find. Oh, 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 oh. Let's look around. They might have left something. Wait, I found it for a second! Oh, oh, it's the obvious thing that's obvious. Cool. Let's scan it. <laughs> Same in the cat supplies. From their gear, they were hoping to capture someone. Hoping to capture Probably me, obviously. Or him. Though, if you'd broken a sweat, I'd be sorry. You're an you apple. sent us the message about the Solarian Ark? Yes, Major Salen Vaughn, STG. Retired, of course. What's STG? Special Tasks Group. Back home, we were field agents who gathered intelligence. Morden's people! Inconveniences. By any means necessary. Even assassination. Yep. If you prefer. As I said, these days I stick with retiree. Spies never retire. Espionage is a job that follows you home. Or across galaxies. What's going There's on? There's nothing for it but to grow a conscience. Let's be frank. There are too many inconsistencies aboard our Ark. They only make sense if someone betrayed us to the Ket. Of course. My best suspect I is can't a have nice things. Dr. Adden. But the evidence is thin. I need a pathfinder to verify what I've found, or I risk arresting an innocent man. Who's Adam? Why would he betray his Ark? Because he's a jerk, obviously. He's a biologist from the early wake-up team on our Ark. He claims to be studying the cat. As for why, I intend to ask him. Couldn't Hager help you with this? Hager's too Since he's your pathfinder? Well, but his team's another story. You're obviously trustworthy. Too green to be corrupt. Involved, you wouldn't have saved our arc in the first place. He's got a point there. Okay, let's do it. All right, I'm in. 
How do we catch a traitor? I only have two leads left. Dr. Adam's equipment and a cat who might be his handler. I need you and your Sam to analyze them. Handler? If you show Dr. Adam's in regular contact with a cat, that would prove he's the one. What if the evidence doesn't implicate Adam? If I'm really that rusty, I suppose I'd have to start over from scratch. Uh, remember, Dr. Adam's equipment and his cat contact. Oh, old this has to be watertight. Good luck. So I can fuck up. Okay. Uh, scan stuff on bold. It's gonna take forever! Alright, here we are! Cat face! I already did the other thing because it only took a second, but... Oh god, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Why am I alive? How, how am I not dead? I don't know. But these guys are going up there. And this is getting exploded. Get up! Metro! What, you mean the cat that I just murdered the face off of? Could you stop killing me, please? Okay, thanks. I, I might kill him in the shoulder. Because he didn't get under the proper cover. Darwin Awards, fam! Okay. You have won them. Okay, I'm just gonna throw this guy down, wait till the second guy gets in there, and then blow them both up. Where's the- oh! Hi, how you doing, bro? Sup? You're the last one here! You're also dead now. Is that all? Environmental temperatures are within Excellent. So let's go find this dude's body. Um... What? I am confused! It's because I blew him up. Scan. What are we scanning? How do you want me to scan? I don't get it! Is it down here? Um... Oh, it is his body! Okay, that's what I thought. His body was just hiding from me. Okay, what do we find, fam? Cat has a Milky Way Galaxy Cat has a Milky Way device. device implanted. Particle vibration on the transmitter resembles Solarian encryption. Uh oh. Resembles doesn't prove much. The cat could have found the implant on the Solarian arc. The best leads on Adam's betrayal, and they're both circumstantial. Yep. So we cleared an innocent man. How about we talk to Hager about this back on the Nexus? He might have something. Or everybody could be screwed. I mean, it's half a dozen of one, half a dozen of the- I don't remember what that term, what that phrase is. Like, half a dozen of one, half a dozen of the other? I don't, I don't know, man. I, I don't know how to English, I don't know idioms, I'm just- Alright, here we go, gotta talk to Hager. We have a problem. Ah, oh, Ryder. Wait, what? Seat. But, so, I yes. need- After that, the cat tightens security. I've what? only just got back. Oh, they, they have the Pathfinder party. A comforting thought. You're studying exaltation? So you're finding out the cat's dirty exaltation secrets? And, if we're lucky, a way to stop it. But I need to talk I to you. Thank you for the star maps. Oh, of course. I'll be charting the Scourge for a while, though Ryder's data from the vaults is helping. I'll send you our latest. I'll take a copy as well. Anything to <laughs> Everyone's so helpful! <laughs> Still looking for stasis pots? And finding them. Having a partner AI makes one hell of a difference. I guess I need to train a successor. And figure out how to prepare them. I don't think this is a job you can prepare for. You live it. And do your best. I like Vidaria. There's only one way to find out what kind of So much better than Sarissa. <laughs> guess so. For now, friends, I need your help. The first wine bottled in Andromeda, sent back to the Nexus. <laughs> I'm trying to brought my flask. We got shit to do. We can't yeah, party right now. Good. Seemed worthy of our first Wait a minute. meeting together. If we have a toast. Question. Question. Avidus is totally a dextroamino-based organism, so he shouldn't be able to have that wine unless they sent two bottles of wine, or they sent something that they could purify it so he could actually drink it. Because the other three can drink. Like amino based as amino acid based food fine. But Quarians and Turians need dextro amino based stuff. Okay. Um Texploration and Discovery. It's a great adventure and all the mysteries waiting for us. Yes. Woo! Yay! We got drunk. Okay, I'll talk to you now. <laughs> ah, Ryder. 
Your pilot said you were helping Major Salen Vaughn with an yep. investigation into Dr. Adin. Yep. You know Salen? Only by reputation. One of STG's finest back in the day. I tried to help him with Adin, but sort of stalled. Same year. Salen gave me two leads, mm. but everything I found was inconclusive. I reached out to ARC leadership, the ones who woke up first, but they keep putting me off. I had an idea, but it might not be completely legal. Ooh, I love those kinds! I love hey, those kinds of ideas. We don't break the rules. Who will? One of those art officers, Rand Lawn, has an apartment here. If he's busy, he won't be around. And a quick scan wouldn't hurt anything. Just see what's there. Don't worry about it, Prosky. Add that is. But I want to end the episode so badly, but we gotta finish this quest first. <laughs> I've been recording this. This is going to be a long-ass episode. This one and the final episode are going to be very long. You know what would be funny? So I spent so long on this episode. You know, I'm two hours into the recording, even though a lot of that's going to get cut out, but I'm two hours and five minutes into the recording. So wouldn't it be funny if I spent so long trying to get everything prepared for the final episode, wanting the entire last episode to be, like, the final mission and the ending, and it turns out, like, the final mission is... 30 minutes long, and then the credits are like, two. <laughs> this ended up being this really long episode right before the really short final episode. And by funny, I don't mean ha-ha funny, I mean fuck you funny. Because <laughs> I'm not allowed to have nice things. Okay, let's go scan this guy's bedroom and get all of his dirty secrets, and probably find his porn stash before we find anything else of note. Because that's usually how it works. Okay, can I go in now? Thank you. Locked. I mean, in anyway. To hack this, Pathfinder. <laughs> I have a Sam. There may be additional clues, Pathfinder. <gasps> what the fuck is this? Freshly vacuumed. Traces of dust still remain. Hmm. Based on the scourge radiation count, they came from a remote world. Hmm. So, Rand Lawn, or someone in his apartment, when exploring out there. And then shenanigans. I mean, is that everything I have to scan? I have a lot of research data, I have to do something. Oh, terminal. No, no, I want the terminal. Cause benefit, something something, Pachero. There's a 12 invite until these can be distracted. Uh, so I made a reminder, description, prescription? What prescription? Is that it? Um, are we done here? No, we're still searching. Um, do we need his coffee? That's a nice block of knives. I wish I had a nice block of knives. I mean, what? Oh, hey! Password protected. Little help, Sam? Accessing. It contains financial and personnel reports. However, the EM signature suggests data was recently cleaned. Of course it was. Because we can't have nice things. Wait, what? Is it... Something on here? The fuck is this? Talcum powder. That's weird. It's a scientific and military context. Weird. Why is there talcum powder? I feel like I should be scanning more shit. But I'm not seeing anything. I scanned a plant. It's been watered recently. It's been watered re uh oh, I'm in trouble. What are you doing in my? I'm apartment? in trouble. You must be Rand Lawn. <sighs> we you need to, to talk. talk. What are you doing here? I'm conducting an investigation about the Solarian Ark. I wanted to check a few things. Ah, I did hear about this. I was too busy to assist. I suppose I'll have to make the time. What do you need? I'd like to ask yes, Dr. Adden you will have questions. to make the time, because you know I said so. Where he is? Oh yes, Adden's some sort of biologist. We were among the first to wake up. Difficult times. I haven't seen him since the Ark was rescued. Why Adden? Salen Varn mentioned. Salen? 
Huh, I see. If the Major's at it again, this makes more sense. Okay. I mean. No, I won't spread rumors. You can go, but I wouldn't break into any more homes. No, 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 bro, bro. If I've been misled, I bro. should hear these rumors. The Major is brilliant, but he's just been in STG too long. He's been bothering us with conspiracies since he woke up. It's common in retired agents. They can't navigate a world without espionage. I see. Look, let's forget we were for the Major's sake. Goodbye, Pathfinder. This still seems super freaking suspicious, so hopefully it's not a long quest after this. Alright, here we are, all the way in bumfuck nowhere. Hopefully, this is it. Pathfinder, these are the approximate coordinates extrapolated from the Solaria apartment. Cool! It appears empty. Oh yes, it appears very empty. Over. Let's look under the surface. Uh-oh. Somebody walked. A little. Uh, Something a lot. was here. Been dragged. That uh, way. Well, it's not that it's dragged. I'm just seeing like steps. Go step, 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 step. I probably shouldn't. Oh, no, it does want me to follow the tracks. Okay. Why can't it just give me an out point and I can jump in my car? Because it's faster that way. What? Go faster! Run! Out here, they're dangerous. Uh, get my car. <laughs> nope, totally get my car. One million percent getting my car. One billion percent getting my car. Because I kind of need my car. Mostly because I don't have to run all the way back to the car. Okay. Let us go and defeat the scavengers and hopefully save whoever the hell they just captured. Okay, time to die, bros. Fucked up. Hi. I'm just gonna do this. Wait. Is that Salen? Oh, Jesus. What? No, stop killing me. It's rude. I haven't been grabbed by, thing by something in a long time. In fact, I don't ever remember actually being grabbed by anything. Because I don't make a habit of getting grabbed by things a lot. Hi, how are you? Stop shooting me, please. It's rude. I'd rather you didn't. Okay, are you done being a jerk face? No? Okay, then I'll blow you up then. And then I'll stab you with my sword. Fuck! Oh, hi there! It's not dead yet. Move me a second, though, so it's fine. Stop shooting me! How many times have I told you? It's rude! Alive, but like you're not feeling well. Sup, bro? You wanna Salem, talk? What happened to you? Salem. <laughs> Very familiar for our first real meeting. He's confused. I contacted you, hoping one of my suspects would do something reckless, and unfortunately, he did. I imagine I was supposed to vanish out here while he used my cloak device. Any assailant you met was Dr. Adden in disguise. Oh! You, he asked me to analyze leads that could implicate him. Let me guess. Adden asked you to scan those leads. I suspected the traitor was hiding messages on optical encoders. Those messages were the real proof I needed, but a powerful scanner like yours would wipe them. I haven't used you of course. my investigation to cover his tracks. Canny bastard. It wasn't working alone, then. I examined an apartment belonging to a Salarian officer, Rand Lawn. The clues there led me to you. Interesting. That confirms my suspicions. Everything comes back to our arc. Adam didn't have the clearance to alter logs or affect the NAV computer, yet he's obviously guilty. Mm. I suspect Adam is the front man for a conspiracy involving the cat. He's the key to blowing it open. But we need leverage. Right. We Except need to Adam do got something. rid of anything we had on him. And, all and I really need to end this episode because I'm almost in for two and a half Adam. hours. Oh, he forgot the <gasps> dog he poisoned me with. Still in there with the ballistics intact. Contact Adam, feign ignorance, and ask for a meeting. I'll be there to arrest him. Hopefully this is the end of this. Somewhere to meet Adam. Somewhere neutral. There are caves on Kadara that might be suitable. Send the word. I have to go to Kadara. Alright, here we are! Hey! Salen! There you are. Did you investigate those leads? I learned you're a cat collaborator and a murderer. Who's one victim short? Ha ha! Old spies really do live forever. 
This old spy would punch you if he wasn't carrying evidence in his chest. Why didn't you take I tried it out? To give you a decent burial, Major. There was no time to convince you of our cause. Rude. Save it, Adden. You betrayed your people. You'll never see daylight again. My people agreed to this. Several of what? us woke early, prepped the Ark, and then we found the Ket, an unstoppable enemy. So we made a pact. Sacrifice our Ark to the Ket and learn their secrets. So one day, we could destroy them along with their exaltation. That's not how it works! That is so stupid! Hey, I know how not to get exalted. Get ourselves exalted. You idiot! Listen, exactly! There is an empire of Ket beyond Helios. All powerful conquerors who will invade us eventually. The secrets we learned could stop our extinction before it begins. Give us our freedom, and they're yours. Don't let this go to waste. What exactly are you offering? The intricacies of the Ket Empire. Vassals, potential weak points, exaltation secrets. Which we can't confirm. And you could have pulled out of your cloaca. We had to sacrifice- Wait, does Lanes have a cloaca? Don't <laughs> let that be for nothing. Surprise. Rest him. Put this traitor where he belongs, Major. We have particular accommodations for collaborators. <laughs> me, and particular. Find the others. I've got nothing but time to look. I'm retired, remember? I owe you big for this rider. Uh, now, if you'll excuse me, uh, I need a militia pickup, the doctor, and the biggest drink on the Nexus. How did he survive getting here if he still has a bullet in his chest? Okay, either way. I am done with this episode. This episode has gone way much long. I probably could have cut it into two episodes if I realized it had been going this long. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. In the next one, we've got the end game. We'll be finishing some Mass Effect Andromeda. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanger, and I have been playing some of the aforementioned Mass Effect Andromeda. I'll see you all in the final episode.